rockier guy here. Today, I'm staying at the Ball Hotel in Peterborough. Let's go and check this place out. Okay, so I've checked in. Let's go and check out my room. So I'm staying in room 281. Let's go and have a look inside. Okay, so here is the room. First impressions, it looks really cool. Very nice, spacious. There's a large double bed here with some beautiful paintings on the wall and a couple of armchairs and a small table. Let's have a quick look around the place. So um, first up we got this really cool retro phone, Berkshire 600. So uh, you can call reception room service, set up a wake up call and Bed looks pretty comfy. I gotta say, that's the most pillows I've ever seen in a hotel room. There's about 10 here um, on the bed, plus two more on the, uh, on the seats here. Some nice painting, a couple of bedside lamps, and uh, somewhere to sit. The room's pretty spacious, I gotta say. There's lots of room here. Let's have a quick look outside the window. Okay, not much of a view there. But that's okay, I'm only here for one night. And we can see a LG television, another phone, and another table lamp, as well as somewhere to do some work. Okay, and onto the bathroom. So this looks pretty nice, spacious, bright, and clean. We've got some lovely marble there on the, uh, on the old sink area and we've got in the shower we've got one shower head up there and a smaller one down there great and loads of towels here all looks very nice towels and a heating rail keep them warm in the winter okay let's just go back through and have a look at what's in the cupboard. Let's have a quick butchers in here. So we've got a couple of spare nightgowns, loads of hangers. We've got a ironing board. If I just open the other door, tea making coffee facilities with a stem ginger biscuit and a golden oat biscuit. There's also a safe in here, which is really cool. And I can see a hairdryer down there as well. So lots of room in the cupboard and up the top we've got an iron as well. So great facilities here. I'll just shut that. And a couple more things to show you in the room. There is a air conditioning unit built into this room. We can see the evacuation plan here. I always have a look at that. So I know where the nearest entrance is. And you've got a really cool trouser press here, which I've never used before, but um, I might give it a try today. So there you have it. Room 281 in the Bull Hotel in Peterborough. Very nice.
Okay, so check out this cool Corby Trouser Press. And it's got some really cool graphics on here. So here's a guy, he's just come home, hard day at the office, slams his suitcase down. And to make matters worse, he's got some creased trousers. But that's okay, because this room has a Corby Trouser Press. So all you have to do is unlock the handles here, like so, pop your trousers in, and then wait maybe 15 or 30 minutes. And you know what? In the morning, you're ready to hit the office again. And this guy's ready for business. Check out the Corby Trouser Press. Awesome. Okay, so let's go and check this place out. So I'm just at the main entrance here. And what we'll do, let's just go through the front doors. There's some beautiful tapestry here. Check that out. Hopefully you can see that. It's got a very uh, medieval feel here. The decor, very cool. And here is the main reception area on the left. That's where you check in. And some really cool artwork. Here, check out this painting. Childers and Dimple by Spencer, 1723. There is a bar area over there, but um, there's a few people having a few drinks there, so I'm not gonna disturb them right now, but let's check out a bit more of the artwork. And here is the man himself, Henry VIII. Made by Hornbolt. There's some more really cool photos over here as well too. That's the bar area. Actually, that's the restaurant on the right there. And there's some more artwork here. Check out King William III by Sir God Godfrey Nella. Sir Godfrey Nella. That's a cool painting. There's some more paintings over here. Here is Queen Mary. This one's also been painted by Sir Godfrey Nella. Very nice. And if you carry on walking here, you just go to the other side, where uh, there's some entrance to the rooms, and you got a car park, which is pretty spacious. So that's pretty much the downstairs. and. Uh, if you have a peek through here, here's a restaurant that I mentioned earlier. I've had a lovely time staying at the Bull Hotel and here's what I paid for the night. I'd certainly recommend this as a place to stay when you're in Peterborough. Thanks so much for watching and see you again soon.